So a few days ago I posted a response to Thunderfoot about um, Alfred North Whitehead's philosophy of organism uh, because I thought that Whitehead's uh, process metaphysics were extremely relevant to uh, the sort of story that Thunderfoot was trying to tell, uh, the sort of scientific story that he was trying to tell about um, the way that um, the physical components and chemical reactions um, taking place at lower scales go into um, providing the conditions necessary for the emergence of biological life. Um, Thunderfoot was describing the details of these physical components and chemical reactions in um, substance terms, uh, in terms of a, a, a materialist ontology, basically. Uh, and Whitehead, I think, offers an alternative here, um, an alternative that I think makes it easier to understand, in fact, what is happening uh, at the level of um, protein molecules uh, folding in the time space uh, of uh, thousands of, of, of a second uh, and a, a billionth of a meter. Um, this time, time space signature of, of a folding protein uh, is, I think, um, difficult to account for in terms of the random collision among um, externally related atoms. Uh, instead, uh, it would make more sense, I think, if we, if we started thinking about uh, the components of these systems, um, these biomolecules, as um, what Whitehead would call prehensive unities uh, or organisms. Um, that are related internally um, according to certain experiential valuations. Uh, and these valuations still, for Whitehead, uh, proceed in, in an atomic way. Actual occasions are atomic entities with, with um, distinctness and a sense of individuality. But they're not separate substances, right? Um, they're not billiard balls. Uh, instead, you know, just as at the biological level, we speak of um, uh, replication and variation, uh, inheritance and variation. At the atomic and molecular level, we, Whitehead would say, we should also speak of inheritance and variation as, um, as fundamental, uh, because for Whitehead, you know, uh, experience, learning, memory, these sorts of things that, that we typically associate only with higher organisms actually are fundamental to nature itself. Um, every actual occasion of whatever scale, from the most microscopic to the most macroscopic, from um, photons to galaxies, uh, each of these has um, a certain experiential uh, self-presence. Uh, each of these enjoys its existence and doesn't simply have bare existence as though um, no one were home, uh, as though there were no feeling or interiority. And... Um, it is only as a result of this uh, inner space of experience that the process of um, replication or inheritance and variation or um, creative addition is possible. It's, it's only because this is an experiential uh, process of, um, of feeling the past, inheriting it, and um, anticipating the future, conceiving of it, uh, of, of its novel possibilities in order to actualize them um, by, uh, through reproduction. You know, Whitehead ontologizes not only experience um, and life, 
but also evolution. Uh, he, he looks at evolution and um, generalizes it such that it applies as much to atoms and galaxies, you know, to the universe as a whole, as it does to what are normally studied, um, those beings which are normally studied by biologists at the mesocosmic scale. Um, so I want to um, direct your attention to this this paper that I've already s messaged um, Thunderfoot about. It's called Towards a Process Philosophy of Chemistry by Ross L. Stein, who's um, a biochemist at the Harvard Center for Neurodegeneration. I'm just going to read the abstract to you, and then uh, I'll post a link to it in the description so you can go read it yourself. Uh, Stein writes, Molecular change is central to chemistry and has traditionally been interpreted within a metaphysical framework that places emphasis on things and substance. This paper seeks an alternative view based on process metaphysics. The core doctrines of process thought, which give ontological priority to becoming over being, cohere well with modern chemical thinking and support a view of molecules as dynamic systems whose identities endure through time as patterns of stability. Molecular change is then seen as excursions to new stability patterns. Finally, when molecular change is viewed as foundational to emergent complexity, process metaphysics allows evolution to be seen as creative molecular advance.